to play a game for you now that is called Story. And uh, for that, the players are going to tell you a story. Um, the first thing I want to do, though, is get a title. Let's go over here. Let's, uh, let's make up a title to a children's story, or something that sounds like the title of a children's story. Well, Rob and the Magic Hat. There it is. I think it was pretty good. Thanks for the job. Uh, let's have all the players come up here, stand right here in a line, shoulder to shoulder. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to be pointing to these players. When I point at a player, they need to start speaking. And we will go until there's one player left, and that player will win five big points. All right? So, Rob in the magic hat! Very good. It's chapter one, and here we go. <laughs> Rob walked into the store today to get a magic hat. It's the thing that he needed to make his life better. His life had been failing up to this point, and he thought, well, religion's not helping me, so magic will help him. <laughs> because Rob was a failed priest. You see, Rob grew up in a very Catholic family that told him, listen, never touch women, be a priest. And he said, but I love women's hats. And they were like, that's not really relevant to the conversation. <laughs> Rob, Rob's family didn't understand his passion for haberdashery and his love of all these fancy hats. So he took it home and took it up to the security of his bedroom where he took off the rest of his garments. <laughs> All naked like, except for the hat, and he was like, All right, which head does it show on? Honestly, <laughs> he chose to put it on his top head, and he wore that hat and walked over, over to his neighbor's house. <laughs> I'm sorry, over, over to his neighbor's house. Mark is out of here. I'm excited to see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> but then, after a second, someone did answer. The door opened and it was his name. Neighbor was Rob also. <laughs> he started neighbor, you said neighbor again. That means he's out of here. Give it up for Randy. So we're in chapter, a lot of pictures. As we move into <laughs> chapter three, or also the final chapter. Rob looked at the neighbor and he said, Look at me, I'm naked except for this hat. Do you know how much magic is on my head right now? And the neighbor said, yes, I do see the magic flowing through you. Come into my parlor, let us talk about magic. <laughs> do you know the watchtower? It's crazy, right? <laughs> like Jesus, he was here in America, and he was hanging out with Indians, right? Crazy. Crazy, Suddenly, crazy, Rob was anyway. Like, well, I, uh, he you know, like, this is weird time a way off the magic is going to get me out of this business, and, and I'll get a crazy out of the religion. Penis. And, and then he winked his eye, and the neighbor turned into a rabbit. And then he pulled off the hat. <laughs> and and, and you reached into it and somehow I'm pulled out the neighbor sir. rabbit. And the neighbor it's rabbit, rabbit said, all right, real. now I'm naked. It's time to go down. <laughs> I'm sorry, you said naked, you said time to go. <laughs> 